Hi, I'm Susan Kennedy of Pretty Peaceful, and it has been a cloudy and rainy day here in Southwest Colorado. So I figured it would be a good day to come out here and show you my rainbow over trauma blankets. Because the rain is over, and now my rainbow can shine out here. Also, I'm wearing my lightning feather poncho. This is the 2x to 3x size, and I made mine in velvet, which I love this blanket. It's so, this poncho is so cozy. If you want to make your, your own lightning feather poncho, you can find the free pattern on Ravelry. And I also made tutorial videos walking through each step of making this poncho, so you can find those here on my channel. But today, the blanket um, I'm showing you is just a really fun gradient stripe throw designed for worsted weight yarn and you don't have to use colorful uh, rainbow colors here you can use any 2 to 14 colors that you like so this blanket is called rainbow over chama um, chama new mexico is a town near near me kind of near me it's about two hours southeast of here <laughs> where i live in bayfield colorado and there's a yarn store there in chama new mexico called tear wools and it is the most beautiful yarn store I've ever seen. Definitely worth a road trip if you're ever traveling throughout the American Southwest. It is just gorgeous. It's also a weaving school and the weaving style they kind of specialize in at Tierra Wools is called the Rio Grande style. It's right, right near the Rio Grande River starts there um, in the mountains up near Creed, Colorado. It's kind of the headwaters and flows down to create the Rio Grande and the Rio Chalma and a few other um, rivers. Don't be alarmed if you see my dog over there, Rosie. She looks a little bit like a little bear <laughs> walking behind me. She's chewing on a stick uh, back over there. Um, anyway, <laughs> so Tierra Wools has their own brand of yarn that they make there. It's called Shepherd's Lamb. It is organic. I consider it a luxury yarn. It is made of churro wool yarn. And the churro sheep, sometimes they're called Navajo churro or Old Spanish churro or the Old Style churro uh, sheep. They're kind of the local, um, I guess, a variety of sheep to us here in the Southwest that have been tended by the Navajo and other indigenous communities and the Spanish American communities for hundreds of years. And all of those communities have worked together to really keep this, this breed alive and making great wool over the years. So it is super warm. It is hand dyed colors, um, hand dyed at Tierra Wools on site. Uh, you can go visit the dye barn if you go visit Tierra Wools. And um, it's really beautiful. One skein goes a long way. So um, it's the kind of yarn store when you walk in and see all the colors. I just wanted one of each. <laughs> so I bought one of every color, uh, not every color, but one of, one of uh, all of these colors. And one skein was enough to make um, several projects. I got four projects uh, out of one skein. Um, some of the projects in my book, Crochet Southwest Spirit, over 21 bohemian patterns inspired by the American Southwest, used Tierra Wool's yarn. Um, and there's a little bit more in the introduction about Tierra Wool's as a yarn shop and kind of uh, their contributions to the, the local fiber community here. Um, so the Lone Mesa pillows, I made two Lone Mesa pillows and the Cactus Garden baby blanket and this out of one skein of each color, this blanket. So one skein really does go a long way. So these are just scraps. So um, this blanket is 36 by 48 inches and it's a good throw size. It's a good travel size. Uh, wheelchair blanket would be great. Um, good, good size blanket for kids. Um, that is 91 by 122 centimeters. And it takes 1,750 yards total, or 1,015, uh, 1,596 meters. And if you use 14 colors like I did here, then you'll need 125 yards or 114 meters of each color. So a pretty small ball of yarn uh, of each color. Uh, I used a five millimeter hook for this. Um, and it is one, it's all double crochet in US terms besides that first starting chain. So we start with 102 chains um, across, and to create the first row, we double crochet into the first chain and all the way across. So we end up with 100 stitches per row. And I worked 112 rows total to get to four feet long here. You can change the size of your blanket by just changing um, more or changing less. 
uh, to make a bigger or smaller blanket. And then the stripe pattern is given in the free pattern on Ravelry, but the basic pattern, let's, let's do it on the pink side, I like the pink side better, <laughs> is five rows of yarn one, then one row of yarn two, your second color, two rows of yarn one, two rows of yarn two, that second color, one row of yarn one, the first color, and then five rows of yarn two, that second color. And that's the pattern that just repeats. So you work that with um, yarn one and yarn two, and then do the same thing with yarn three and yarn four, and yarn five and yarn six, and yarn seven and yarn eight. And you can keep going, you know, as long as you want. Um, this would be really cool in just black and white, really modern stripe, or you could make it in teen colors, or anywhere from two to 14 colors is fine. So um, the free pattern is on Ravelry. You can download that crochet pattern PDF. Um, it has a photo tutorial up close for how to do these stitches. Um, after that first row, we are working double crochet stitches in between the stitches. So normally you would work um, the double crochet stitches into the top two loops of a stitch, um, kind of into this like getting under that little V there. But here we're working the stitches in between the double crochets. So it's a bigger target, a bigger hole to hit. It's easier. Uh, it's faster. It's better for crocheting under low light conditions. And it gives this really like cool woven look to it. I think um, the only other stitch that I know that kind of recreates this woven look is moss stitch. Single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one. And I do have um, a pattern called the Peaceful Siesta Blanket that uses that. Um, but this one is great. It just It's a really fun stitch and it's really kind of instant gratification because it goes faster than regular double crochet. So um, I have a video tutorial to show how to do this stitch also from a few years ago um, called the Life's Not a Race Blanket. And you can find that here on my channel. For that one, I used two strands of yarn. Um, I, I used Lion Brand Mandala yarn held doubled. But you can just follow that stitch pattern just using one strand here. And that's also the same thing um, this stitch pattern here I also used for the More the Merrier blanket, which I used Lion Brand Mandala yarn, which is a self-striping yarn, so you don't have to change the colors. But this is kind of the scrap version of that, um, just 125 yards or 114 meters of each color. Uh, so uh, get that free pattern off Ravelry, download it, and um, you can read that little story at the end of kind of a travel log journey to Chama, <laughs> live vicariously, a little southwestern flavor for you. And I see the sun is just peeking out over there. It's a really good time to go hunt for a rainbow myself. So I'm going to look around and see what I can find. And thanks for joining me. Bye.